Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the nameless ROM for the J7 2015 and this is the 1.5.9th version so okay the before version was having some pattern lock fix and everything but in this version everything is fixed so let's go to the installation and the review of this thing let's start the review <laughs> So first of all, let's power off your device and until it gets powered off, I will tell you some things like it in this video will include the anti benchmark test, the details and everything. So please watch it until the end if you are free or if you are not free, watch it at that time. It's not compulsory. So let's go into the TLR breaker remote by pressing the volume up button, the home button and this power button. Press it at the same time until we can see the logo and yeah, it's having the S8 boot logo and animation is a team win recovery and it's the latest version and I will also recommend you to use the latest version for team win. Let's go down brightness and you will just need to wipe the wicked data, sorry not internal storage and system. Okay, first like you can see my previous videos, I wiped the internal storage and it was a big mistake because you can do it without wiping it too like i uh, i was dead in my old phones i wiped the internal storage so it will be not bricked okay let's go to install and here you can see the nameless rom it's only one file package no other pattern law fixes and everything everything is fixed in here and it's the version 1.5.9 okay i will recommend you to backup efs the developer has also recommend you Every time you back up EFS so that you don't lose the IMEI and you go down face any network issues. Let this uh, game be over. This will take some time to install. It's a big file. And yes, talking about this ROM, it's very like near to asset experience. Uh, like all the notifications and all are themed like nougat and we can feel a nougat inside it only the uh, marshmallow version is located inside and if nougat wrong nougat update the official will be available on j7 it will be very easier to port the nougat roms and many people ask me in my comment section like always on display and many features so these features are not supported on the j7 my s file is also not supported so j7 is like no not supported some devices which is which are highly modified to it will work like note 4 note 3 if you have note 5 okay note 5 has the always on display but the note 4 and the note 3 will support if you use custom roms okay it's like ending it's near to end and yeah this also includes the boot logo and boot animation of the S8 and the S8 launcher does not lags inside it or four stops or something okay some ROMs take too long to install and some like Lineage OS only 290 MB and 300 MB very easy to install so these TouchWiz based ROMs are very like highly modified and you know the main size of the non dio okay you can see the boot logo and it may like boot loop once or twice and okay the camera effect shows like blurry thing here but in reality it looks very good so what is this is it stuck in boot loop ok let us see what happened or i have not done anything i wiped everything what is this oh it's gone like that was taking long time so if you also have this 
like it had taken long time please comment down below and see if you, you it worked okay what happened here okay boot loop so it was a long boot loop here now we can see the boot animation i have not deleted any part like i would like to show you these things okay the boot animation is s7 one i didn't notice any s8 boot animation but without like i am seeing it directly it looks very beautiful so let this phone boot up and i, I will give you the review and anti to benchmark scores for this rom let's go so I'll skip this setup wizard and here is the lock screen you can see the wallpaper and uh, you can see the voltage supported no need to flash anything extra and you also get a new 4g symbol that's great and it looks very good and minimal like something different from others like not the normal 4g when a big one and we can see the touchwiz launcher 2017 that is s8 home launcher is very responsive and let's go to the home screen settings and we see all things apps button and everything we get in the s8 launcher and all these icons are now new and you can see this context icon that was orange before in some ROMs is now also fixed the clock icon is very calendar icon everything is new we get the samsung health the samsung members app too and this is a very good app so if you are using any stock rom and if you have this app it's very good because you can ask okay i think some server problems are here but i've used it and you can ask your problems directly there and i think they will give you a solution like if you are bricked they will give you like do it with smart switch okay let's go to jump into settings and first view the about device it's nameless rom see again nameless rom developer sumit kumar india status i think we can see in all other roms so this is thing model number sm g950 and so it is having s8 not the s8 plus one model number we go to software info and here's the build number developer options and build february one security patch battery info everything is here now let's go to our device maintenance and let's go to the storage and let's see how many storage we get free okay 8.5 gb is used and available space is 7.5 gb this is uh, like very too much i will just clear this mb let's see 4.17 mb lol so we are getting like 8 gb free nothing more so it's a very heavily modified rom and you can use a sd card also so here's gallery and everything apps we know it's camera camera app is normal and yeah the camera quality doesn't change according to if you have roms and other things okay so these are the supported uh, modes and these are the filters and the camera quality will not change so don't go with some uh, belief that i have installed this rom and the camera quality will increase the camera is remaining only 13 megapixel it's not increases to 16 megapixel or 12 megapixel with f 1.7 s8 camera and okay we have not viewed the ram management and everything let's go inside device management battery can see 11 minutes on battery so i will give the some of the details of battery and uh, ram management down below and let's clear the ram let's see what we get okay so we have three four zero four mb that's good it's pretty responsive and it doesn't lag at all i've used it for like uh, two hours only and it doesn't lag at all battery is really good internet is new new app new music new clock radio icon changed calculator yeah something is very different here is the scale thing and you can see area length temperature volume and you know, the unit converter also and see also here yeah, the length is a temperature 
the volume you can calculate the mass and some data so that is very important not important like a good feature of this rom we have got the s8 calculator app too and about this quick settings panel it has changed somewhere to nougat and when you get okay here are all and it supported long like many uh, quick settings toggle it has supported and multi-user support so that's very great let's go into the display and let's see what else we get here content scaling don't change it font also screen mode and it's not supported only for j7 2016 at screen you can change some settings keep screen turned off very like normal things in this rom so this is uh, the review of it and let me give you the android benchmark score and now the final thing is the Antidote Benchmark score and I'm getting a 39,891 which is less than Enigma 1 because okay Enigma was less modified and it's same like MD again the UX has got 15,000 CPU 14,000 okay see a multi-core score is 7189 common CPU and everything in RAM 4727 so uh, it's the score is okay greater than MDK and ranking we can see this vivo is 9 okay overall the Android benchmark score is very good around 40,000 I was thinking about 41,000 but it also only landed 39,891 like this is near to 40,000 so it was not uh, like bad score and good score it was a normal score but uh, according to performance it's very okay. okay so same effect shit you can see this okay that's good it's recorded by the camera so i was doing this on mdk rom 2 and i faced the same thing like i got the anti to benchmark score and afterwards the it like directly stopped so i will just uh, hot reboot it it's good like it's recorded in the camera so this was the galaxy s8 rom as the nameless rom for the galaxy j7 2015 and it's coming soon on the 2016 version too so stay tuned i will also compare both of it with the j7 and j7 2016 both and so this was the review for the rom nothing else everything is done and i don't want to like stress this video okay after a restart hot restart it's gone so this was a review for the dream okay not nameless rom 1.5.9 so if you like this video please press the like button and if you dislike please press the dislike button and show me feedback down below in the comments and i hope you people will subscribe my channel after watching this i will be uploading more videos and okay the dream ux mdk rom version 3.9 beta patch update I will show you the details and everything in the next video you can see that and yes comment for any help or any issues regarding this rom you have faced and you have to post something about this rom so yeah after all uh, okay in the last thing I just want to say subscribe and goodbye and thank you for all your support till now I know you are going to support me till the end like it's going to fall so goodbye and good night.